Hey Oddings, it's your Ate Sapphire. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors who, without them, the show would not be possible. Did you know that fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world? That's pretty scary, right? That's actually one of the many reasons I love to shop secondhand, and my favorite place to do so is on ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the largest online consignment and thrift store. The website is super easy to navigate. You can filter the items by size, style, silhouette. I have a lot of weddings to attend this year and it was so easy to find amazing dresses at such great prices. I got this Aiden Maddox dress that was originally $395 for only $50. And I can't even tell that these dresses are used. And that's because everything on ThreadUp is hand inspected and triple checked for quality. They add over 50,000 new items every single day. So you are guaranteed to find something you'll love. Get an extra 30% off your first order when you go to threadup.com SS or click the link in the description below. And now back to the show. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Wanna hear something scary? The Drum. The following is based on The Drum from the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark series. Once there were two young sisters, Annie and Belle. They lived in a small house in the country with their kind and gentle mother. They loved to explore and play in the fields surrounding their home. One day, the sisters came across another young girl playing by herself in the road. She was beating on a very curiously designed drum. And as she played, a little mechanical man and woman came out of the other end and danced. The girls were mesmerized by the unique toy and begged the stranger to give it to them, who looked back at them and laughed. This is a very special toy, the little girl said. If I were to give it away, it would have to be in exchange for something big. Well, what do you want for it? Annie asked. You have to go back home and be very bad. Come back tomorrow and tell me all the bad things you did, and then I might give you my toy. Deal? Deal. The sisters agreed and headed back to their house. What if we just told her we did bad things? Annie suggested. It's not like she'd know anyway, right? So the next day, the sisters went back to the spot in the road where they met the girl the other day. We were very bad, Belle lied. Yeah, Annie chimed in. We wrote all over our walls, we threw our supper on the floor, and we screamed all night. Now can we have the drum? Not so fast, the girl said. I know that you're lying to me. Come back tomorrow and bring proof that you were very, very bad, and then I'll give you my toy. Deal? Deal. The sisters agreed again and walked away, annoyed, while the girl giggled at them. By the time they got back home, their mother was still away at work. They decided to be very bad before she got home so that they could clean up and explain everything to her. They tore up pillows and mutilated their stuffed animals. They smashed their mother's favorite vase and gathered the pieces. Surely this would be enough for the little girl to give them the drum, they thought. They took the torn up pillows and pieces of vase and brought it to the girl. We made a horrible mess, Annie said proudly. We even broke our mother's favorite expensive vase. Now can we have the drum? The little girl rolled her eyes. You both clearly don't know what bad is. You should just go back home. She turned her back towards the sisters and continued playing with her drum. Just tell us what we should do, Annie shouted. The girl slowly turned back around. She reached inside her drum and pulled out a small glass vial and a blade. Bring me your mother's blood. Well, let's get out of here, sister, Annie said. That toy is not worth all this trouble. As they turned to leave, the little girl called after them, her voice much deeper than it was before. Once you've made a pact, you cannot turn back. I will be taking something of yours. The sisters picked up their pace and sprinted all the way back home. They called for their mother, but she wasn't there. In fact, nothing was in their home. No furniture, no rooms. Just a big, open, cavernous wooden space and one door leading outside. And then the walls began to resonate. 
the roof was vibrating in a familiar rhythm. The sisters ran out the door, only to find their movements stiffen. Their bodies had become rigid and wooden as they moved their limbs involuntarily to the beat. Above them, the little girl, not so little anymore, beating on the drum. On this week's episode of the Something Scary podcast, I interview Cody Merrick, the creator of the Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark documentary. Listen over at Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. Do you love stories about survival? Are you a fan of Jenny Slate like me? I've got a great new scripted series for you to check out. Earthbreak is a six-part series from Skylark. It stars Jenny Slate as Lynn Gellert, the last survivor of an alien apocalypse, who unfortunately is terrible at being a survivalist. And if being alone in a wasteland wasn't bad enough, she discovers that she's pregnant. Yikes. She records her thoughts on a voice recorder as she comes to terms with her uncertain future. Earthbreak is funny, scary, and heartbreaking all at the same time basically all of my favorite moods. Here's a little taste. My name is Lynn Gellert, and I've just survived by dumb luck, I guess. You've done this before. You've done this before. Okay. You're just probably dying like everyone else. You're not pregnant. Earthbreak, starring Jenny Slate, is a six-part series debuting on May 7th. Subscribe on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're listening right now. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially Annie, who had a character named after them in this episode. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarled. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary at snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, sweet dreams.